Welcome back. It has been a beautiful day here in the four states. A little on the chilly side. Temperatures just slightly below average for this time of year. But I think it's official. Fall is finally here. I don't think we're going back to summer, so that's some good news. Let's take a look outside right now. This is our tower cam brought to you by the Stables Casino, showing just that beautiful fall evening. The sun is setting just behind the camera. So it's really giving a nice little glare on the uh, over Joplin right now. So beautiful sunset there going on. Of course, that's just because we've got stable air mass over us. Our winds uh, throughout the day have been fairly breezy. Right now, still at 9 miles per hour in Joplin. We're in about 10 and 11 miles per hour in southeast Kansas. So with these sustained winds, it means our gusts were even higher. Now, they're starting to die down right now, which is some good news. Gusts earlier this afternoon were in close to the 30 mile per hour range. And if you notice, it's coming out of the west. And that just means stable air, stable atmosphere. That's why we've had such a gorgeous day today. But if you look closely, even closer, you start to see some of those winds starting to come out of the southwest. That's because our wind is starting to turn to the south, and it will usher in some warmer air and warmer temperatures for tomorrow as well. And that's why our high projected to be right around average tomorrow. So our Freeman Health First Alert Doppler radar is dry right now, expected to stay that way over the next 24 hours or so. And that's because regionally, we've just got a mass, a big bulk of high pressure over us right now. You can look Look at all of the four states. <laughs> Barely any clouds out there. And again, that's that westerly wind that's bringing us some stable air, a stable atmosphere as well. And really, our next system not coming until late Wednesday, even maybe Thursday, early Thursday morning with a cold front and then some rain chances as well. So let's talk about that now. Temperatures. For now, as I've mentioned, they have been they have been in the low 60s most of the day. They're starting to dip right now. Again, tomorrow expected to be slightly warmer, so that's some good news if you like those temperatures. So, speaking of temperatures, we are on a roller coaster over the next seven days. Wanted to show that because our average is about 70 degrees right now. We are expecting below average temperatures, but take a look at Wednesday to Thursday. That is a 20 degree temperature drop. That is that cold front coming through. The good news, not expected to really see any thunderstorms with it. It is a strong cold front, just expected to see instead showers associated with this. So we'll put that in motion for you. We could see rain chances as early as 10 p.m. tomorrow. This may be overdone a little bit. We may not see them till after that, but check out. Thursday. A lot of rainfall activity expected for most of the day. As we continue to put this in motion, you see not a lot changes over the, our neck of the woods. It's continuing to stay rainfall, not pushing out until later on Friday. And uh, then we are in for a dry weekend, but there are some hints that we could see some rain from Saturday on into Sunday as well. But leaving it out of the forecast over here for now, but I'll show you what I'm talking about in that seven day forecast. So now your forecast from your local weather authority. Tonight, temperatures should be in the upper 40s, 48 degrees. And we do expect to see the winds die down and then pick back up tomorrow. We are expecting 70 degree temperatures tomorrow. Winds are shifting. We are warming up, but that's right about average. So that's some good news there. And then for the remainder of the seven days we see those rain chances come on in Thursday. I've got 60% right now. I feel like I should be bumping it up even more. There's a possible rain chance of Sunday, so I don't have it in a future track, but I do have it in our seven day. Wanted to at least mention it, but we're going to keep a close eye on that over the next couple of days before we really make that call. So for now, we'll just say 30%. So you can always keep track of everything by downloading our mobile app. It is KSNF in the Apple or Google Play Store. But we've got a cool weather picture to show you. This was sent in by Zach Hanna. This is Wildcat Glades, and I love it because you can see the leaves starting to change. Fall officially yeah. here. I need to go down there now. That just I know. I completely forget about the leaves and how beautiful they are down there. I know. I wasn't sure if he took this today or not. I, I'm hoping it's recent. Uh, it just was beautiful and I had to show it. Yeah, I hope it's recent for my sake too. I gotta I get know. down there. I know. <laughs> Jessica, thanks so much. Let's talk about some sports now though.